Good evening. I'd like to provide the American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. But you trust me for it. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Hello, Biden sitting in his office, sitting Mount Gay Rock. Kamala Harris walks inside, face full of blood. Joe, she says, Trump still hasn't conceded. Joe says, well, it's time to head off to Washington with my special forces. Joe gives Hillary a call, asking for 18 of the boss Democrats with the biggest cards. Tonight, Joe Biden is going to meet the White House at Trump's Bottle Rock. Joe and his 18 naked Democrats at the University of Delaware's yard. Checking each other out, cocks are throbbing ever so hard. Their transport to Washington, D.C. arrives. A couple of Sikorsky Black Hawks. They're piloted by four African Americans with big black 12 inch cocks. The helicopters land on the White House's front lawn. Joe Biden and his 18 naked Democrats are greeted by four Secret Service agents. Faces forlorn. Gentlemen, Joe says, it's time for you white boys to find out why black lives matter. Black lives matter. The agents offer no resistance while the big black pilots make their suits and pants scatter. Joe walks towards the White House with his Democrats to the sound of four Secret Service agents getting fucked and fucked and fucked. Fucked and fucked and fucked. Joe Biden and his 18 naked Democrats are now in the corridor outside the Oval Office. They're greeted by 18 big buff Secret Service agents in very tight suits. Joe says, surrender yourselves to my Democrats now, or we shall be conquering your anal orifice. The agents stand their ground so that Democrats have no choice but to engage the agents in a hot, heavy pursuit. There is a full orgy out of the Oval Office corridor. Secret Service agents getting fucked by Democrats in every hole. We accept you, Joe Biden, as our next president. Secret Service agents scream. They fall to the floor, covered in loads of white cream. Joe Biden and his 18 naked Democrats enter the Oval Office looking for Trump. It is empty, the silence filling everyone's skin with goosebumps. Suddenly, there's a rush of footsteps behind them, followed by the Oval Office door closing with a thud. Joe and his Democrats turn around to see 18 big buff cowboys, cards throbbing hard. In the middle of the cowboys is the man of the hour, Donald Trump, ready to give Joe a good fuck. Trump says, Joe, forgot to tell you but the cowboys in Ram Ranch happen to be dedicated Republicans. Tonight they're going to spread your soy boy Democrat buttholes wider than the mouth of the I'm gonna go. Come. Before the tired Democrats could even think, the Ram Ranch boys had them pinned against the office walls with their butts in the air, with the legs apart of the Democrats get fucked and fucked and fucked. Fucked and fucked and fucked. Trump grabs Joe's tired ass and spreads his cheeks on the Oval Office desk. Joe, you have only won the ballot so you can feel my bollocks, Trump says. He slides his thick, wrinkly cock up Joe's even wrinklier butthole. After being stretched so hard, Joe cannot stop his moans. Joe, I didn't concede the election because I wanted your butt to feel me before it feels the Oval Office chair. Now I accept you as the next president of the United States, worthy of being my heir. First of all, I actually like Dick for real. I, I get on Dick. Deep moans for the hallways of the White House, which is now the water with all the cum. Trump and the cowboys from Ram Ranch board Marine One and Marine Two and leave the White House, never to return. Kamala rings Joe Biden's phone. He wakes up to take the call. He sees his naked Democrats, passed out all in front of the Oval Office wall. Kamala asks Joe, 
Has Trump conceded? I haven't heard anything from you since last night and at 6 a.m. Yes, yes he has conceded the presidency, but not before I conceded my butthole. And I forgot where I am.